In June 2018, 45-year-old Jesse Henson was killed while working at the West Star Energy Jeffrey Energy Center near St. Mary's, Kansas. Henson was on the 14th floor of the power plant, investigating a loss of steam with another worker, Damien Burchett. When the elevator door opened on the floor, they were engulfed in superheated steam and sustained fatal burn injuries. Last week, Henson's widow received a $222 million verdict, according to our attorneys at Arnold and Itkin. According to the lawyers, the industrial accident was caused by a faulty relief valve inspected and modified by Team Industries, Inc., a Texas-based Westar subcontractor. Team had recently rebuilt parts in three generation units, but denied responsibility and tried to shift blame on Westar and Henson. The lawyers proved that Team not only identified the faulty release valve, but suspected that it would fail at the coal-fired plant. Still, the company never took the steps that would have saved the lives of Henson and Burchett. Team was found to be 90% at fault for the incident, while Westar, which is now part of Evergy, was found to be 10% responsible. The jury awarded $222 million for the physical and mental pain her husband endured before he died, compensation for her loss of companionship, and compensation for her past and future suffering. Henson was a veteran who also worked as a deputy sheriff at the local sheriff's department for five years, and he also spent time as the lead deputy for the sheriff's search and rescue unit. The relatives of Damien Burchett have filed a separate lawsuit for his death. I'm David Manti. This is I Am Now.